who are you, what do you do, and what game do you play? My name is Brandon Houck. I am a automotive mechanic at Mercedes-Benz Kitchen Waterloo. Very passionate racer, an amateur real life racer, professional online racer, and uh, my games of most playing are iRacing and Forza. I've been racing go-karts since I was eight years old. So I'm probably upwards of near 16 years of experience in uh, real world racing. Online racing, that's tough. Probably pretty much as soon as I can get a controller, I guess I started off in like the uh, NASCAR 2005 for PlayStation 2. Didn't really race that competitively, obviously, because online racing really wasn't that big of a thing back then. But then uh, a couple friends and I got into NASCAR 2003 racing, which is where a lot of the people in iRacing get started with Papyrus. Uh, we raced that for a while in a few leagues that were organized and put on with tournaments and stuff like that. And then eventually branched off into the iRacing series where, I mean, things just took flight. HPM was founded by Brody Kostecki, myself, and Daniel Roper. Essentially, after bouncing around between trying to make mergers from other teams, we decided we were best off with our kind of core group where we were constantly jumping ships back and forth within the years. Uh, it was founded in 2014 while I was competing in the World Championships series and uh, it's just grown since then. We've developed, we've found more people, and uh, our team's built, and we've managed to keep the same core guys for the most part throughout the last um, six years. HPM has uh, several wins in the NASCAR Irison Pro Series level, um, and also a couple of wins at the World Championship level as well. I was able to win the iRacing Road to Pro Qualifier back in 2013 for the ACAR Clash Championship in the season I ran. It qualified me into the Pro Spot, which I then transferred after the NASCAR iRacing Pro Series into the World Championship Series, which I then competed for the next um, two years. Basically, just running a few solid races, a couple top fives, but unfortunately myself, I wasn't one of the teammates who managed to pull off a win at that level. I would say one of the coolest things that kind of translates over from the real world of racing to iRacing is the fact that there's this famous saying saying that races are won in the shop, which is the preparation of the time you put into the vehicle and getting it prepared for the event that week. That d typically determines the amount of success that you have. We're on iRacing, it's kind of the same thing. Obviously, we're not pulling wrenches or anything on the cars, but we're doing some engineering aspects, um, some trial and error with setups, trying to crunch some numbers for fuel strategy, tire strategy, any kind of efficiencies like that. And just putting in hours and hours and hours just to get that extra kind of couple tenths of a second or thousands of a second out of the car, just to have that leading edge on the competition and take home the win. The professional level of sim racing, you need a high amount of attention to detail. Any type of setting, whether it's even in the, in the controller itself, whether the wheel, the pedals, the car, even graphic settings sometimes could give you a slight advantage on the, on the competition. So, I mean, these guys at the pro level, myself included, uh, just hours and hours on end of, you know, kind of uh, practicing, practicing, kind of ironing out any little bits of uh, details and trying to get um, that extra little edge on the competition and then extra bit of speed. I think for the majority of the sim racing community, whether it's iRacing, whether it's Forza, whether it's uh, Gran Turismo, um, everybody does it because they love cars and they, and they love motorsports. The majority of people, myself included, don't have quite the means to do it in the, necessarily the real world or go professional in the real world. So the online racing aspect, especially at the competitive or the professional level, is that window of opportunity, that door. The coolest thing about that is not only can, are you competing you know, against other racers, but anyone who has access to a computer, or internet for that matter, can race on iRacing. So not only are you racing in smaller groups of people, local, local competition, provincial competition, national competition, but you're racing against the whole world. So that love for motorsports and just that drive for competition and that passion is just the fire behind all of it. I guess you could say I found my mentor in Brody Kostecki. He's a, he's a few years younger than me, but um, a very smart uh, uh, Australian guy. He's uh, currently right now competing in the V8 Supercar Series. Basically, I started off in the rookie level like anyone would on iRacing. I had a little bit of a drive. I was watching the, the World Championship Tour, guys like Ray Alfala and Nick Ottinger, and I wanted to do that myself. And uh, I had that drive to want to succeed. So I was putting in the times, doing the practice, and I was running the official races, and I was getting my wins. But then comes along this Brody Kostecki guy, who was really, really fast. And I, I had a hard time. I think maybe once or twice I beat him. But during that process, I was the only one who could really, in our group, keep up with him. 
we kind of got in the conversation mid-race and he was kind of like, who are you? Kind of quizzing me, where am I from? How long I've had the game? And then when I told him I pretty much had it for th just that week starting, only a few days, he's like, okay, uh, I want you to come and hang out with me whenever you have some free time. And he gave me his team speak. We started chatting, became Facebook friends. And he literally mentored me from just driving techniques to how to build setups. And he took me from the, the rookie level all the way up to the pro. For me personally, ever since I developed this passion, not only for driving, really what iRacing has done and sim racing has done in general is it's opened up this door of the physics aspect of the game. I love tuning the cars now. I love changing the spring suspension, trying to figure out why a car behaves the way it does. And iRacing replicates this so well. There's a lot of times where I will take that uh, things that I've learned on iRacing, I'll apply it to my real life racing, and it'll mimic almost exactly like it would on the game. So there's a huge advantage that having iRacing now, I think, which we're seeing with the real world professional drivers use it, utilizing it as well. But my ultimate passion and goal is to be maybe a, a crew chief or a, a racing engineer. And I think iRacing is kind of one of those stepping stones, not only to develop my skills, but to give me an insight on what the world would be, you know, to that level of racing. I would say just stay committed, stay focused, never give up, uh, just keep that goal in your mind and just work towards it every day. Every, every lap, try to get that a little bit better every day, even thousands of a second, any, any kind of improvement's improvement and I think that works with, with anything you're working towards being one of the best or just getting better. So for High Performance Motorsports, you can find us on Facebook and on Twitter. Uh, for myself personally, you can find me on Brandon underscore Hope for Instagram and Twitter and just my name Brandon Hope for Facebook.